Good afternoon, folks. I've spent the last hour and a half trying to film this uh, video, and uh, once again, my new Caldwell uh, chronograph, me and it just are not cooperating. I do want to show you what happened. Uh, fired a 155 grain pellet, hollow core 457, into ballistic gelatin using uh, the uh, Defender with the uh, 45 cal barrel. And uh, you can see the tracks, the inner point there and the inner point there, the tracks going through. Both of them went through 12 inches of ballistic gelatin out the other side. So plenty of power. Uh, I've told you before that I'm a big fan of the Defender. I see a lot of potential in it. This is Gen 2. Eventually I'll be a Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5. And there's lots of aftermarket parts for it. But at its core, I really like what's going on with this thing. And uh, I like the components as much as anything. And when I see this, the first thing that came to mind was years ago, um, from the FBI's point of view in 1924, there started being pin guns. And at that point with pin guns, you had a wide variety of shells that were being used. Uh, one of the first recorded ones by the FBI again in 1924 was a, a 38 short Colt, which is an obsolete round now. Uh, and I wondered why couldn't we do the same thing? Along the way, there's been 22 long rifle, 25 ACP, 32 ACP, and even 380. In the 90s, there was a company that came out with a Braverman pin gun. And in the Braverman pin gun, that was uh, in several different calibers, went for four, four years or so. And if you want to buy one today on Gun Broker, you spend two to $4,000. Well, at its heart of a Defender, you've got the barrel. You have an air charge cartridge with a burst disc. There is nothing in the world saying that you can't take that air charge cartridge and that barrel and have yourself a pin gun. Basically, J hook, release fires it, you're holding it like this, or you're firing it like this, kind of in front of you. Uh, probably the easiest to control is two-handed where you're holding it, the other hand releases, and it fires. Um, I wouldn't do that, so this if I didn't think it was uh, safe, and with that, it's probably the first pin gun that I know of anyway that has a built-in safety. There is a safe point there. The hammer is actually touching it right now, even though it's in the safe spot, it's resting on this, which even provides more friction from that thing coming out. When it comes over, it's in the path of it. It cannot go down with that safety in place. Once I pull the safety out, the hammer is able to move. Now you'd never have the hammer on that side. When you pull the safety, you'd have the hammer over on this side. Once the safety is removed, it can fire. It will fire whatever is there. This is a shortened uh, Gen 2 9mm barrel. This is a regular Gen 2 9mm barrel, very long. In a situation like a pin gun, you're probably going for length. Uh, this is the uh, old Gen 1 9mm barrel. And uh, right beside it, because they look almost identical, is my 410 shotgun round, uh, the barrel for that. Uh, the pin gun itself, again, is terribly simple. You keep it in safe till you're ready to use it. What I've been doing is a cotter pin. By the very action of taking clippers and cutting the cotter pin, it bends it enough that you can't pull it back through by hand. Having a pull strip like this, you can pull it through fairly simple, but then again, in the safe position, when it's riding on it, it pro provides that much more friction where you have to pull a little bit harder to pull the pin out. And until the pin comes out, it cannot be fired. Once the pin comes out, if you have the air cartridge charged and a round in it, you bring it over, you release, it's going to burst the burst disc and it's going to shoot and it's just that simple um, these will be available later today probably with a defender uh, and a couple short barrels so i'll be a defender a nine millimeter or 45 and you'll get the 410 barrel and a short nine millimeter barrel with it uh, the defender itself if you pull the adapter off you could have both short barrels in this and have a shorter gun but realistically, the reason I'm sending the short barrels is you have this and it pretty much fit in the pocket. Again, this is every bit as dangerous as any firearm out there. Uh, you drop that, it's going to fire. If it can go through 12 inches of ballistic gelatin, it can hurt or kill a person. And that's exactly what it did. You can see the path there going clear through, the path there going clear through. Uh, anything that can go through 12 inches of ballistic gelatin can do some real damage. 
Uh, but anyway, I just uh, I saw the components and said I can do something with that. This is one of three things we're building uh, with these components. Uh, we're uh, looking at doing uh, a revolver of sorts based on an old 1800s design, the pepper box. And we have a third thing that's kind of, uh, we'll keep it to ourselves for now, but there'll be a third thing using these basic components. Uh, one other thing I'm playing with is you get one shot and one shot only, then it's gotta be aired up and all. But what if you have a gun that's also a knife? I've been playing around with taking the barrel, cutting it a 60 degree and then cutting it a bevel and ends up sharp enough. I was shoving this into a file cabinet earlier. It was cutting right into it. If it'll do that, it'll do some pretty serious damage. So I may offer that as well, but for right now, it's just something I was playing with. Um, anyway, uh, we now have a pin gun made of defender components and then the, the parts I make. And you look at it and go, well, that's pretty simple. Uh, it's not so simple. <laughs> that uh, bolt inside there went through 30 different versions before we found one where the back pressure wasn't tearing it apart. Uh, having the proper air relief, the proper spring, the proper spring set, because uh, it's set at both, in, both ends. It's trapped at the top and bottom, the spring is. Uh, everything about it took a lot of effort and a lot of time to figure it out. So it's uh, not quite so simple. Um, but anyway, that's, uh, that's our newest product. Hope you all have a great day. Take care.